Welcome. We would be solving one of the very interesting questions which was asked in the Indian Economic Services Paper 3. And this is the General Economics Paper 3 which was asked in 2022. Now this question pertained to the monopolistic demand function. So the question was actually uh, pretty direct. The steps you need to understand it very well to solve. So this monopolistic uh, curve has two demand functions for two separate market conditions. So this is for the first market condition. This is for the second market conditions. Because besides the value for the price which is given, it is also given that the monopolist uh, monopolistic market marginal cost is 10 and the fixed cost is 50 in the first case and in the second case we increase the fixed cost to 100 how would the profit change so this is the question that is asked now how do we solve a question with the information that is given so let's do it for the first market condition for the first market condition we first of all understand when would be the profit maximizing equilibrium the profit maximizing condition would occur when marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost we already know marginal cost is equal to 10 that means marginal revenue would be 10 now with this function which is given can we find out the marginal revenue in the terms of p and q yes we can how because we know the total revenue total revenue is price into quantity so price in this case is already given i multiply it with quantity so here i do it as p1 q1 for total revenue 1 that would be equal to 80 minus 5 q1 multiplied by q1 which gives me 80 q1 minus 5 q1 square right now this is the total revenue how would i find out the marginal revenue marginal revenue simply is the first order derivative of the total revenue so d by dq1 of tr would be the marginal revenue and this could be written as d by dq1 of 80 q1 minus 5 q2 square now when i differentiate 80 x so to keep it simple i keep it as 80 x minus 5 x square when i differentiate d by dx of 80 x it gives me 80 and d by dx of my uh, 5 x square would give me minus 5 into 2 and this would be x which i am writing it as q here right q1 q1 here okay and this would be q1 so uh, simply x square when the first order derivative is done it gives me 2x for x cube it would give me 3x square and so on okay so in this case it would be 80 minus 5 into 2 Q, q1 which is 80 minus 10 q1 and this would be what this would be the marginal revenue now note when i solve this equation i get marginal revenue is equal to 80 minus 10 q1 and on the other hand i already know since i know the marginal cost i can say marginal cost is 10 so my marginal revenue would be 10 so this would be equal to 10 solving this equation i calculate for q1 so my q1 becomes how much my q1 becomes 7 here so 80 minus 70 would give me 10 my marginal revenue for the first case remember this is how much my marginal revenue is 10 my q1 quantity 1 comes out to be 7 and my price 1 would be 80 minus 5 into 7 which is 35 so 80 minus 35 gives me 45 now these are the values for my first market function just keep a note of these let's move to the second market function second market function again i take total revenue which is p2 q2 and this is multiplied by q2 okay and then i take d by dx of this okay so d by dx of this would give me 170 minus 40 q2 and this would be equal to 10 again which is the marginal revenue which equals to marginal cost solving this i get q2 is equal to how much my q2 would be 4 because 170 minus 160 would give me 10 my q2 is 4 using that 4 in the equation of p2 is equal to 170 minus 20 into 4 gives me p2 which is how much which is 90 so in this case my q2 is 4 p2 is 90 and my marginal revenue is 10 right so when the question asked coming back to the question here okay what is the equilibrium price and quantities in the two market we have calculated we have calculated q1 p1 q2 and 
P2. Just because we know the total revenue is equal to price into quantity, marginal revenue is per unit change in the output. So marginal revenue is rise by run or I can say D by DQ of PQ as simple as that right and this pq is nothing but the total revenue and also at a profit maximizing function marginal revenue would be equal to marginal cost using these i have solved the values and got the values for p1 q1 and p2 q2 now the second part of the question says i know the fixed cost as 50 in first case and this cost changes to 100 in the second case how would my profit change so my profit is nothing but what Total revenue minus total cost minus the fixed cost. Okay, so here how do I calculate? This would be total revenue is how much? PQ is the total revenue minus marginal cost into quantity minus the fixed cost. But this value, okay, for the first market condition plus the same value for the second market condition minus the fixed cost. Okay, so P1, Q1 and q1 and p2 q2 and q2 right so for the first market condition my q1 p1 values were how much my q1 was 7 and 45 okay so this value was 7 this value was 45 okay so my values are 45 i take q as common okay when i take q as common i can actually write this as 40 uh, 5 into 7 minus marginal cost is 10 into 7 that's for the first case where I have this value plus the second case where my values are these so my p2 is 90 into quantity 4 minus marginal cost 10 into quantity 4 minus 50 and this is for the first case okay I can take 7 common in this case and 4 common in this case so I can have 45 minus 10 multiplied by 7 plus 90 minus 10 multiplied by 4 minus 50 and this is the first equation when my fixed cost is 50 I solve this and I get 550 when in my second case I have to find out the profit when my fixed cost is 100 I solve this again so it becomes 45 minus 10 into 7 plus 90 minus 10 into 4 minus 100 and this gives me 465 so my profit would change from 515 to 465 it would drop if my fixed cost increases from 50 to 100 and that's how we saw this question a very interesting a very simple question but a lot of students who did their mistake was at this point of time where they were asked to find out the marginal revenue they don't know from where uh, I changed this 80 minus 5q to 80 minus 10q okay so sometimes the students think that I have taken a wrong value into account it's not a wrong value into account this is just the price you have to multiply by price price with quantity to get the total revenue and the first order derivative of the total revenue that is d by dq of pq would give you the marginal revenue and that's where you derive 80 minus 10q and this 80 minus 10q would be equal to your marginal cost or marginal revenue which is already given which was 10 and then you can solve for q1 once you solve for q1 you can apply it in the original equation and find out the values for p1 and this is how we solve this question this was an extremely interesting problem which was there in the indian economic services examination similarly many such problems that were asked and the previous year paper solutions are available on the link doorstreptutor.com uh, and here is where we have the solutions for the questions of indian economic services thanks for joining in